Hi Noah, how are you today? I am excited to be able to share another awesome story from our Bible. Um, so we know it's a true story. If you see my bird flying around, his name's Rico and we're hoping that he doesn't get too distracting for us. So let's get back to what we talked about a couple weeks ago. We learned that God promised Abraham that he would have as many children as there are stars in the sky. And he blessed Abraham and Sarah with a son and they named him Isaac. Then Isaac and his wife Rebecca married and they prayed for a baby. And not only did God bless them with one baby, but he blessed them with two babies, Jacob and Esau. And today our story is gonna be about Jacob and his sons. And Jacob had 12 sons, 12 sons. That's a lot. Do so you think we can count to 12? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot of sons. We are gonna talk specifically about one of his sons whose name was Joseph. And I'm going to show you a little book I have that has a story in it that has lots of good pictures. So here is Jacob, and here's his son Joseph, and then here's all of Joseph's 11 brothers. And you can see that Joseph has this very special coat on. Jacob gave Joseph a very special coat to wear, and as we're going to see in the story, it made his brothers very jealous. Jacob was a wealthy shepherd of Canaan. He had 12 sons, but loved his son Joseph the best. And one day, Jacob gave Joseph a beautiful coat with bright stripes and patterns. The brothers were jealous and grumbled, we work harder, but father gives Joseph special treatment? It's not fair. Joseph was not always nice to his brothers. Sometimes he told Jacob stories about everything his brothers said and did while tending the sheep. This made the brothers mad at Joseph and they sent him back home. One night, Joseph had a strange dream and told his brothers about it. I dreamt we were in the field tying up wheat sheaves. My sheep stood up straight, but your sheep circled mine and bowed down to it. Joseph recalled. The dream made the brothers even angrier at Joseph. Can you see their faces? They are not happy with him. In a second dream, Joseph saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing down to him. He told his brothers about this dream too. In rage, they said, do you think the whole family should bow down to you? The dreams made Joseph's brothers hate him. But Jacob wondered if God was trying to tell Joseph he was special. God has a special plan for Joseph, just like he has a special plan for you and for me. Joseph's brothers took their flocks to the hills for fresh grass and it was far away. They were gone many days and their father became worried. So he asked Joseph to take, to go find their brothers, to take food and make sure they're well. And Jacob loved his father and wanted to obey his father. So that's exactly what he did. Joseph went and he found on a long journey and he found his brothers and he found them in a field with the sheep. And then something not good happened. But I can't tell you that part now because that's gonna be in our story next week. So we're gonna to have to wait for Miss Roberta to tell us about that. But what we can remember from Joseph's story is how, how much God loved him and he was special and he, his dad loved him so much. And, and Joseph really obeyed his father. And that's important for us to remember too, that, that we need to obey God too. And God loves us so very much. So that is about the end of our story for today. We will get to hear more about Joseph and God's plans for him next week. But for now, let's pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this great story about Joseph and the plans you had for him and just how you show your love um, through this story, how Jacob loved him so much and he showed him he loved him by giving him a special coat. And we're thankful for all the people in our lives that love us so much. And we're most thank you for your love, God. So please be with us this week and help us to see um, your love all around us and all the beautiful things that you make. And we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Have a great week, Noah.